Hey everyone, Helena here, Kelly here. Uh, we are Speaker Insight, where we help speakers, authors and coaches to build a business on your terms. And uh, have you noticed it's Christmas? It's Christmas! It's Christmas! <laughs> Which is really, really exciting. So, so the buzz in our business, uh, because we do like to hear what the buzz is in your business, as well as tell you what the buzz is in ours. And of course, if you think about it, the buzz in our business is the Christmas party. It's tonight. So it is tonight. So we're hoping that those of you who are joining us live here will be joining us live there later. Kelly's going to put the link in just I in am. case you've been, I don't know, sleeping under a rock and you don't know that it's happening. <laughs> um, which for some of you, if you're not part of the Connection Hub, then please do come and join us in there because that's actually where a lot of the conversation's been going on anyway, isn't it? And so, what are we going to be doing in the Connection Hub tonight? Hmm. So maybe doing a little bit of a live and giving out some of these delicious little presents um looking at the insights that we've actually got within the group but lots and lots of people uh, are going to be favored with some presents for the presents that they bring look what i did there I like, I like the use, double use of the word. Oh, I know, it's good, isn't it? It's really good. So um, if you're not a member in the Connection Hub, that's really where all of the conversations take place. Kelly's going to, has already, of I know she's course. already done it. Of course she has, uh, which, is, which is how it actually works. Now, here's the thing. So, so we do tonight, wanna... all of these presents yes. are because we've been tracking our most engaged members. I know. We've been tracking who's had the best success in their speaking, in their books. Who's been taking action consistently. <laughs> who's been like going out there and really impacting and influencing the world because we're always watching you we truly are <laughs> Santa we, Claus. Yeah, they're, <laughs> but they're on the naughty or the goodness <laughs> no let's not go there <laughs> please not I'm gonna have to rein her in a little bit and and you know honestly <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly but here's the thing Actually, those of you who are coming tonight, many of you, we haven't actually ever met in no. person and we're really excited to meet you in person. So so it is going to be a really big night for us, partly because, you know, this Facebook Live, and by the way, we do want to know what the buzz is in your business, so please write it in the comments tell below. Us, we've got two Joes on at the moment and a couple of others that are saying here, so tell us what your buzz in your business, Joes. Yes. Please, what's <laughs> happening, what's going on that is of, of note and worthy to, worthy to, for other people to be knowing. Um, so the, the thing about this last one of the year for us, uh, and we are really very, very, very proud. Uh, we began this adventure. End I of January. It, end of January. Yep. So this is our 47th Facebook Live this year. Whoop, whoop we is all I can say. We haven't missed one. At all. At so all. Every Tuesday for this year yeah. at one o'clock, yeah. we've been there holding your hand That's through it. your business. And if you've been implementing a whole bunch of those things, then I can only hope that your business is really growing uh, in, in a way that you would love it to be. And that's actually the essence of what we're doing. I'm seeing lots of pings happening on yeah, the I'm actual elf, screen. I'm, I'm the elf on the shelf. You're the elf on the shelf. <laughs> I, 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 I did. I'm, the, I'm the spot. Well, you, you're the no idea reindeer. <laughs> Seriously, this is going to happen all day. It's because I've been picking on her all morning as well. It's really like, oh, anyway. So here's the thing. The Facebook Live today really centers and focuses on the thing that most people actually do at this time of year. It does get to the, even if it's not slowing down for you, it does get to the stage where it's a good time to reflect. Yeah. It's a good time to kind of step back and actually go, so what did I create, generate, and make possible this year? Um, those are great words, by the way. So by the way, just because we're wearing like silly things on our heads and everything else, that doesn't mean you don't get to You're kind of write train, notes. Right? It's like, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Matter what we look like we still can't help but actually teach so here's the thing this year for you you know we recommend whether you do it on a yearly basis whether you do it on a monthly basis whether you do it weekly or as we suggest with those people who are in changemaker central which is our membership site you know we make those people do it every 90 days so yep. we do a biz an audit of their business on a 90 day period so that you can see what have you actually done completed implemented um, and that's really what we're going to do a high level of in this particular teach today. Joe um, Fellows has just got the chat box working on their um, Facebook page. So that's her buzz oh, in her business. Congratulations. Another step on the automation ladder. I know, right? You've got to love a little bit of that. And so that's actually what our invitation is, is take a look at. And so we're going to come at it slightly differently, but we're definitely going to tell you about. Um, so for those of you who watched last week, we talked a little bit about on your terms. We're actually going to talk a lot more 
about that this week in order for you to actually do the review in that way. Yeah. So, yeah. So, tell them a few bits and pieces because and there's going to be quite a few links for you as well because we're quite excited to share some of the things that we use, we use personally yeah. uh, that allows us to create the lives that we have. Yeah. So I'm going to cover some practical things, as Helena said, of what we've done in our personal lives. This isn't just about business, guys. Completely. Right? So we want you to look at how you can review your 2018, okay? How have you lived it on your terms, yeah. okay? And that's covering all elements. So um, I'm going to go through a couple of the things of practical use, and then Helena's going to go into the detail element of how you use on your terms to do a review. Yeah, completely. And some of the things that we're going to go through, you might not have actually been doing that in 2018. So make note yeah. of actually, I haven't got that to review, so I need to put some systems or some processes in place yeah. for 2019 so I can track and review this time next year and make it a lot easier for yourself. And and, and here's the thing, and I, and I will say more about this in, in a moment, but there's always light and shade. For everything that got done, there's something that didn't get done. Or for everything that has been started but you weren't quite happy with it, there's there's a call for you to be able to put something in place that allows you to have it the way that you want it yeah. so 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 please 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 wear your <laughs> wear your ridiculous hats or um, wear a, a perspective that actually everything is there for my upliftment learning and growth and Amy's buzzing her I business I know I just saw reached, um, almost 700 blog followers so that's awesome Amy there was somebody in the connection hub Amy who was putting up about asking for bloggers yeah so maybe you should connect with her it was only yesterday I think she put well, it, and, and she, she actually did a little bit uh, so I think if you just scroll down a teeny yeah. little bit you'll see it she did um, the call out hashtag so just yeah. have a look at that you might want to connect yeah so what this also does is doing this review is not only helps you uh, just see how you've lived your life this year but it also helps you set those goals and targets for next year. Mm. We don't want you to just live your life on autopilot and just coast through going, oh, maybe this will happen. Nope. If you've got some real things to aim for, some benchmarks some guidelines, then at least you can reverse engineer your goals back. You Agreed. can plan, you can track. And that's what we want you to do, right? It's one of the foundational things. Yeah. In our agree. membership site and what we're teaching here is tracking and measuring and really working on what you want to achieve. What does success look like for you? Yeah. Um, Bethan's on the train down to the Christmas party. <laughs> that is good buzz. That is very, very good buzz. We approve heartily. I can't wait to see you. Okay. So here's, I'm going to go through four different tools that yeah. we use. Um, practical tools to help you do this review part. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to take stock, okay? And you can do this in any way that you feel is appropriate. Yeah. But in order to know what you've done, what you've achieved, whether you've um, put the things in, the balance in your life and things yeah. like that, you need to actually have an account. Yeah. And if, for you, ha if you haven't got um, systems in place at the moment, you might need to actually go back to your calendar whether that's your eye calendar or your physical diary yeah. and sit down and actually make some sort of note of well how many speaking gigs did I do in January March mm -hmm. you know month by month, month is by really month. good yeah. like you can literally kind of take it in that way I will say something about so how someone does that in a in a okay, moment cool. as well just let me finish I know <laughs> seriously do you get what I have to put up with <laughs> oh, so Go through your diary, go through your calendar. How many speaking gigs did you do every month? How many clients have you coached every month? Mm -hmm. How much time have you put aside for writing every month? Yeah. How much are you dedicating to social media on a daily, weekly, monthly basis? Yeah. How much have you how many product launches have you done this year? How much product creation? So you need to start measuring the things that are important to you. Yeah. And actually going, well, on a monthly basis. How much do I do? That's and right. is it like there's a massive dip in the summer? We yeah. said that we took the summer off pretty That's much it. to do anything. So actually over those um, elements and those months, we don't have events going on. We don't mm -hmm. have coaching clients. It, it, it's about establishing your own trends as well. You know, did you, if if you start to see what you actually did on a regular basis across all of those months, you'll start to see your own trends. Yeah. Our question becomes, did you set the trend or did the trend happen to you? Yeah. And I love it when you've been doing this for two or three years. Yes. Because that's when you go every August, it's dead. Every January, I'm really busy. Yeah. And then what you can use that information for is forecasting your cash flow okay i'm not going to get really they'll freak out it's like shut up it's christmas <laughs> it's like, what 
<laughs> are you two on? <laughs> oh, Brett's loving it. He's taking stock big time at the moment. Good, so he's good, on good, good. Yeah. Anyway, whatever I, it I'm is, too. <laughs> you want to take stock of what's going on on a monthly basis. So if you haven't got anything in place, yeah. use your calendar to look for this year. I'm going to put a link into something that we did tell you about in one of our lives <laughs> this year. Whenever. Um, which is called our Insight Tracker. Yeah. And this is something that you can use to reflect, track, review and tweak your performances in all your areas. Areas. Yeah. So I've just put the link in the comments there. So you can use that for your marketing. Completely. You can do that for your finances. You can do it for your engagement. You can track whatever is important to you. Yeah. And then have this spreadsheet. Well, it's not just a spreadsheet. No, it's more it's, than it's, that. it's more than that. It, it really is a way for you to. If you're not used to doing this, if you're actually quite intuitively led, there is nothing wrong with that. And what's brilliant about this is that it's not a spreadsheet it's actually a reflection tool that allows you to really go okay what have I created what what was the impact of that and how can I then tweak it to make it even more successful for me yep. in the way that I want it to be and it's so important that people actually do take the time out to just step back and do that yep. so it's our invitation to actually look on a quarterly or monthly basis however you want so I'd highly recommend that you download it I really do think it's one of the most useful tools, especially if you're not used to doing this. Yeah, especially if you have no idea what is and isn't working in your business, right. right? It's really important that you have that clarity. Yeah. So you know what to do more of next year, what to do less of, and yeah. what's going to get you the results. Exactly. So that's the first thing. Take stock, whatever way that that's going to be. If you haven't got things in place, use the Insight Tracker for 2019. Yep. If you haven't got that, been using it this year then um, use your calendar, use your diary, use your things you've been going back on. Jo is printing, printing it, it out as, as she speaks. Speak. <laughs> so the next thing I want you to have a look at is actually, what's the fun and balance in your life? Oh, right? yes. Because if you're building a business on your terms, then you need to think, okay, what the goals that I have, we, as, as we talk about quite a lot, <laughs> Helena and I work on our Speaker Insight Connection Hub business one day a, a week. week, right? So within there, we've got our membership program, we've yep. got our retreats, we've got our Connect and Create days, yep. we've got the Connection Hub to run, and all the content for that That's it. and the planning happens on a Tuesday That's when it. we're together in my house, yeah. right? Which we love. So that is our building our business on our terms because we both got other businesses that we run alongside this. We certainly do. <laughs> so you need to think, okay, what's the time element that I want to do? Do I want to work three days a week? That's right. God, these bells are doing my head. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm doing my best to actually, I, I'm going into model mode and just moving my <laughs> head very really gently. Still. Yes, it's like, let's become wooden puppets and actually be caricatures of ourselves. Oh, okay. So if you, you've got to think, <laughs> How do you run, want to run your business? How much do you want to have it so that you're taking the kids to school? Do you want to take summer holidays off? Do you want to work a three-day week? Do you want to have 80% of your income come from digital products so you're not flying around the world speaking and coaching all the time? You need to know what these things are. Yep. And also, you've got to think, am I happy? Uh, completely right? and utterly, because you're and, in charge of your happy. Yeah, and, and are you healthy? Because <sighs> so many people have burnout in when they run their own businesses. HH. Yeah. <laughs> Shush. So, in that respect, I want you to review the fun and balance in your life. Yeah. Have you got something, and this might be going back into your calendar again and going, have I put pamper days in? Yeah. Have I got social engagements in my yeah. calendar on a regular basis? Am I doing things that I love that feed my soul, like theatre or whatever it might be? Games, nights, yeah. you know, whatever at home, be... social events with your friends, family, that kind of thing. Whatever it is that nourishes you yeah. and actually replenishes you. And that's a really important thing. So did you have a balance of things in your diary so that you weren't work, 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 so that you were actually doing some, and some of these things, by the way, will be duty led and some of them will be fun led. Yeah. But there's still things that make a balanced life, and that's what we're asking. So th think about how you can track, have you been doing that for this year? Yeah. And then think about what are your goals for next year? Do yes. you want to have like a date night every week with your partner? Do you want to have a dinner party every month? Yeah. Do you want to have a pamper session? Do you, you know what? I, we, we, so, so, so in my, in my world, um, sorry, my... My Rudolph is being a bit unruly, sorry. <laughs> um, but in, in, in my world, one of the roles that I play um, 
is is local lass because I'm living in Hampshire and we're still kind of we're still becoming part of the village. We've been there for three years, but I think you have to be there for about eight years before you count. Um, but but one of the things that we're doing is actually exploring with a neighbour and actually Connection Hub member, which is even better. Uh, so Steph, myself, and Ralph are actually checking out all the pubs in a 20 mile radius. So we're doing <laughs> one pub lunch a month in order to actually just go and see the area and Perfect. see the pub, right? And that's something that will be scheduled into the calendar Completely. so you're there. So think about what it is that you're going to look after yourself. Yes. One of the things that I love to do, and that's why I've got it out here, Yay. this is um, our family memory jar. So myself, my husband and my daughter, every year, for this is our 2018 jar, when we experience something that we love and we've really enjoyed, we write a little post-it note about what it was, we sign it in the date and we put it in here. Yeah. And it could be an event, it could be something that we've done, or it could just be something that's made us smile that day. It doesn't have to be anything massive. And then what we do on New Year's Day is we open this all up, we put them all on the floor, and we read them all out to each other. Which is really great. And it's great. a great way of actually us being grateful for the year that we've had, reviewing the things that we went, oh my God, I forgot we did that, because it was yeah. right back at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And then we actually start thinking, well, look, these are the things that have made us happy. Mm -hmm. Should we do more of them next year? Yeah. And we put more of those things in the calendar, in the diary, and we go and do more yep. escape rooms or whatever it might be. Truly. So this is a really good way of actually... Um, being more grateful, being more present for what you've actually achieved and had and experienced yeah. this year, but it's also a way of reviewing the fun and balance and the things that make you smile. And that's actually what I was going to say. Um, so, so there's an alternative to that. So I actually have a memory box. In mine is not a jar. It's mine not is a, a memory. It's not a competition, Elena. It's not a competition, <laughs> indeed. And that wasn't where I was going to go. Although some people might say it's a competition. <laughs> Right. So, uh, so, but in the memory box, I, I love a kind of, I, I, I'm a ticket stub girl. I'm a program from a theater yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. So that's actually what goes in mine. And what I, what I always do is I take a photo on a monthly basis of what have I actually done. Now, my friend Liz has actually taken that one step further. So she took my idea and she went, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that, but I want to live kind of quite clean. So what she did was, and, and this might be, oh, I didn't tell you about this earlier. It might be a look it up are you ready oh, so gosh. with photo books um with the app photo books photo books. yeah what you can actually do is so long as you pay for the for the postage uh which is about six quid so for those of you in the uk it's about six pounds um she can make a 50 page tiny little a5 book of all the photos so you go through your feed all the photos that actually kind of made up your year um your month so she does a monthly yep yeah, that's the one photo book uh, box. photo box yeah photo okay. box that's the one right. um and so what she actually does is she literally goes through the month on the last day of the month she goes through the month and actually makes the book and they physically send her a book so she can sit and look at the 12 months that she's actually yes. done yes. like literally as little books you know because a lot of the time we don't necessarily look at the photos that we take in They're that on way Facebook now right so exactly. you don't have them printed off exactly but so 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 that's actually a really wonderful way of looking at where did I put the balance in? Where did I have my fun? Nearly stole my thunder, but my second point is <laughs> journaling, right? So we encourage it's you to quite a thing. lot. No, 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 no. So we encourage you to journal. This doesn't have to be on a daily basis, but it's a really good thing. Mm. I love journaling and then reading back at the end of the year and going, oh my God, did I really think this or believe this? And Hell yeah. How much you've shifted and grown and seeing the, the common fears that come up when you're pushing yourself on your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, but one of the apps that I love to use is called Five Minute Journal. Mm. And the reason, this is what I'm saying about trumping me, yeah. is because you can put pictures in there. Yes, so Every nice. day it nice. sparks you. It says, mine's set for 11 o'clock every night to say, but you know, they'll ask you two or three questions about that day and you can actually put photos nice. in. So I review and look back over the year on, again, it's not printed yeah. off, but no, on no, the five minute journal. That's good. So I'm going to shove that little link in there for the five minute journal app. Um, Beautiful. They do do a book as well, a physical book, if you're one of those people that like yeah. physical things. But I love the fact that it comes up on my phone. I can be wherever in the world. It's great. And I can just journal my ideas and what's gone on that day. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I think is good for reviewing is journaling. Yeah. And then my final tip, which is my favourite oh, one. It, my... It, and, and I have to say, I love this as well. So I think, I know I've been doing it since I've been with my husband. So it must be for at least the last four years. 
every year at Christmas, we dedicate one whole day to sit down with a big box of Quality Street and a bottle of Baileys. We don't get through the whole bottle, <laughs> especially me, right? One, drop, one glass like, and I'm drunk. Lightweight. <laughs> but we sit there and we print off Susanna Conway's Unravel Your Year document, right? So amazing. It is phenomenal. I'm going to put the link in the, in the comments here while I'm talking about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Now, what she does is she gives you this whole booklet when it's, it's probably a review of your year from an emotional perspective, Definitely. right? Definitely. So we're doing a lot of businesses and tacticals and, you know, how many speaking gigs and how much did you earn and all that. This is about how did you feel, what went right for you. Yeah. And she takes you on this beautiful process. And every year we go, we write probably about half a journal of all the things which we read back and we plan 2019 mm. you plan your word you can you're going to plan all the activities around it um she does encourage you to use angel cards and stuff to help with that but you don't have to go down that step but it's a beautiful creative mm. and we i do it with my husband every year and it's literally that one of our favorite days of, of yeah. the year because you just reflect on so much and what she's done in the last year is she's given you monthly review tools so we don't have to wait till December mm. to review the whole year. We look at elements every month and go, oh yeah, look, this is what was supposed to happen. So I've put that link in the comments because I think it's a really lovely thing to do. You can do it by yourself yeah. or you can do it with your partner or your business partner. Yeah. You've never done it, have you? Uh, I, I, I did it last year. Okay. <laughs> Well, because of what I'm about to tell you about, <laughs> then then I hardly ever get to do something like this because I'm usually running something like this for other people. So Helena's going to tell you more about the, about that, the planning aspects yeah. of 2000. But actually, that'd be really kind of fun. We could. Yeah, let's do it. All right, done. <laughs> <gasps> my word. So it's really good. Right, okay. Have you have you finished any I'm more done. for no, any more? These are my, they're my four practical things. So yeah. take stock, look at what you have done, measure things so you can plan are you on track and what are your targets going to be for next year? Yeah. Make sure you've got the fun, the balance, the nourishment in your life. So we're not just talking business. You're living life. You're happy. You're living it on your terms. Agreed. Journal. Keep keep a track of things that you're grateful for. Memories, pictures, things that will stimulate you to know, oh, I want to do more of that next yeah. year. And also track your feelings. We say um, when we're teaching you about your avatar is if you journal mm -hmm. and you are your avatar a few steps ahead, yeah. you're going to capture those emotions and that language that you need to be talking about in your marketing copy when you talk to them about the problems that they're facing. I was just thinking there's a couple of, uh, so so inside Changemaker uh, Central, in inside the membership, we... Um, uh, we do Friday feedback every, every week and uh, several people in there over the last month and month and a half or so have actually been literally using their journals as part of writing their copy. Yeah. Um, and they're finding it one of the most helpful, useful things. So you know all that gnashing of teeth and like, oh gosh, woe is me and everything else that you do inside your journal? We're just giving you full permission to do it now yeah. because actually it'll help you with your avatar somewhere down the line. And it helps. When you know you're going through that painful experience, you know you're going to get through it, but yeah. you also know you're going to be able to use that as gold dust. Damn already. <laughs> giving you full permission for all of that. Because here's the thing. It does happen to all of us, yeah. ourselves included, right? You know, so so that's kind of how it works. Now, I'm going to take a slightly different tack. So I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to tell you about two kind of things that 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 I actually do. Well, one that we do, one that we're going to suggest, and one that I do. So since 2001, which is quite a long time now, um, I I picked up a book by Did Jenny Dixler. The internet, then? Uh, <laughs> nearly, <laughs> maybe, sort of. That's probably why I've always been old school around it. It's how it works. But anyway, I picked up this book, which had 10 beautiful questions in them, which for me over time, as I've grown and evolved, I've absolutely kind of hybrided into Helena's version of this. But um, at my kitchen table, I did my first ever vision board in 2001, and it was amazing. Now, a vision board is simply, um, for me, uh, <laughs> it's actually more of a wonder board now. So it is actually about, I wonder what I can create. I wonder what I will bring towards me in an attraction kind of way. But a vision board is is because the mind actually loves an image and a you know a picture tells a thousand words. When you design a vision board where you put elements of what you would like to, and for me this is very important, what you would like to be, do, and have. Not have, 
but be, do, and have that you actually kind of work with. That allows you to, on a daily basis, if that's hanging up, your conscious and your unconscious, subconscious, other than conscious mind will happily look at that and go, how do I create that? She must want it. She looks at it every day. She looks at it every day. So how do I actually kind of do that? And lots of little synchronicities start to happen because what happens is you get what you focus on. Your reticulating, activating that's system. That's right. Your RAS. Your RAS is what does the job. That's what focuses on. So we say it all the time. When when you're looking for a new car and you're yeah. looking for a red Ferrari, suddenly when you're out driving, everyone's got a red Ferrari yeah. because your reticulating, activating system yes. is focusing on red Ferraris. That's so you see works. more of them. Now, so so interestingly enough, everybody gets to do a little wiggle when we say RAS in the... In, I knew, I knew, she, I knew that'd get her. Um, so your RAS, your reticular activating system, we want to help that by actually putting in front of it things that you have reflected on that you really do desire and wish for. So um, I now run on the 31st of December, and this will be my 15th, I think we nice. established. So uh, the 15th, uh, 31st of December vision board workshop. Ben, the reason that I do it, it seems like a weird thing, right? On my terms, I now. I, I contemplated this year not running my vision board workshop on the 31st and it feels wrong because actually there's something really special about looking at the whole of the year on the last day of the year, letting go of what didn't serve you, letting go of the way that you've held a certain experience. We even have a let it go jar um, that, uh, and that, that I then ritually burn kind of later on uh, the next day. Um, or if it's cold on the day, um, and then you wake up in the morning to this new vision, to the vision of the year that's coming, and that there's nothing like it. So uh, my invitation is definitely, if you happen to be free, then come. Uh, Kelly's put the link in. Um, and if you're in the mop-up and you go, but I'm going out to party, and I really like the sound of it, there's one in January as well, because there's always a mop-up. Um, but for me, the vision board is is not just a vision board. And I think the reason that so many people keep coming back, like I have people coming back to me over and over, A, because it gets results, but B, because what I make people do, we don't get to cutting and sticking anything until about three hours in because we do all of that reflection. And we really do focus on what made your year great, as we've just been saying, and what would you like to create and bring in for the year that's coming? And it's massive. Yeah. And I've done one which I thought was going to be my three or five year vision board, and I've already completed yeah. over half of it. Yeah, because it just goes just fast. Like crazy. I'll tell you, it, so so last year, uh, so I, on the 31st last year, um, one, of, one of our ladies, an actress, um, she said, I don't know why, so I run you through some intuitive processes, and she said, I have no idea why this mentor is on my board like she's an actress and she was really kind of focused on getting all sorts of roles and everything else and she's like but it has to be there I know it has to be there and this picture has to be there and and so within three weeks she actually wrote to me on on messenger and said I know why it's there now I've just been asked to be a math tutor to a whole bunch of little kids who are doing it through kind of an acting right, school yeah, and whatever yeah, it was. Sure. So you just don't, don't know, know how it actually kind of works. And part of that is leaving enough space for the miracles to occur. So anyway, I won't go on about that, but I'm saying however you do that, whether that is through the pictures yeah. in, in reviewing it in the way that you've yeah. been doing, you know, focus, you get what you focus on. So be really aware of what are the images that you are creating in your mind or looking at on a regular basis. The second part that I'm going to talk to you about is we've talked a lot this year and, and you know, it's funny because on your terms is not just a thing we say, mm -hmm. it is actually one of our core pieces of IP. It's, a, it's, it's an actual process that we take you through. So this is the time to actually really, I'm just going to take you through some of the reflective questions because you can use on your terms as a way for you to look at your year. So if you hadn't actually done any of this, or even if you have, I would highly recommend that you just play along for what actually goes on. As a reminder, TERMS is an acronym. Yep. So for your, how are you using your time, energy, resources, money, and skills? So if you think about that from, from a perspective of reviewing the year, that actually starts to work really well. So for those of you out there, think about your time. How did you spend your time for the whole of 2018? 
Did you, were you working? What percentage of it were you working, playing, creating? Um, Some of you have got part-time jobs, so you're traveling. doing this on the side exactly. as well, right? So how much did you do of your part-time job and how much did you do of your speaker, author or coach business Completely. or as an entrepreneur, right? Completely. And so, so you know, and then... You and can I, actually... I, love, I love the traveling aspect because, yeah. you know, managing speakers, that's the feedback <laughs> I get all the time is that, yeah, I'm great, I love speaking yeah. and I love the fact that I'm getting gigs around the world, but actually when I clock up yeah. how much time I'm living out of a suitcase, how much time I'm away from my family... I want to reduce that next That's year, it. but how do I do that and be a speaker? Well, this is where we go about productization yep. and then up in your positioning so you can charge more for your gigs and do less. Yep. So these are all things you need to be aware of. Completely. Like what, what, where do you want to spend your time? Yeah. Or if you are still going to want to do the traveling, then do you spend longer in a particular location and get more work in that location? So you can start to look at all of those trends, but actually looking at it almost like a pie chart. Yeah. So you could do that. I make people do this all the time. If you did it as a pie chart, the number of hours I spent sleeping, working, traveling, doing, etc. Sleeping? What's that? <laughs> yes, Kelly Tyler. Well, you and I are both as bad as each other, so it doesn't, you know, we're like four hours or five hours a night, whatever it is. But anyway, so so you get the idea. How did you spend your time? And here's the key thing. Let's put a critical measure in there because it's not just the information of where and how did you spend your time. It's how much fun was that spending of time so what percentage of it was fun and i'm going to let you self-define fun what percentage of it was not fun mm. for you so so you can actually kind of begin to take a look at what's the balance of that i want to do next year so yeah. when you're looking forward you could go okay where and how do i want to spend my time in 2019 and again pie charts work really beautifully um, um, you know you all know that we set our company up this year so this year for like it's been <laughs> foundations it really so we've has. just done like three retreats. We've done uh, three connect and create days. We've yep. built a membership platform. We've built our Facebook group to two and a half thousand members yep. all in the first year. That's a lot of creation work, yep. product creation, yep. foundational IP creation stuff. That, and, and some of that we didn't like. But we <laughs> Truly. have to do, right? Yep. We have to do these things. Next year... <sighs> which we've done one of our planning days for next year anyway. Next yeah. year's different for us. We are not doing any more creation. Certainly okay? not in this business. <laughs> no, <laughs> but now we've got the foundations laid. Yep. It's okay, how do we build on this? Because we've not done any yep. marketing, paid marketing or anything for any of our products or services or, or, or Facebook groups. That's exactly it. Now we've got the foundations in place. We're like, okay, we've got all the stats. We know how to measure things. Yep. Now we know where to put some efforts. Maybe we might go onto another social media platform yep. because... This year, we said we're just focusing just Facebook. on Facebook. Yeah. So, you know, these are the things which you might not, as Helene says, you might not like to do it. Yeah. But next year, we won't have to set up all of our CRM systems and our email nurture campaigns and our blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because it's done. Well, you're making me tired just even thinking about <laughs> We've it. We've been busy, girls. Good gosh. <laughs> right. And so, 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 so what's interesting for me about that is, is that you can use the time and then to actually kind of that pulls you into the next level of it, which is the energy. So how energized were you about the activities that you were doing? So um, who and what did you actually get energy from? Do you get you can start to see where do you get your energy? We actually get quite energized by the creation of what we do, but also by the completion of and having something out there, because some people actually notice that, you know, so, so some, for some of you, it might actually be the result is that several of the things that you started, you didn't finish. And mm. so the energy is still kind of stuck within it. Or you get really excited about starting things, but you don't complete them. And yet you feel like, oh, I started so much, anywhere. but I'm not moving in that way. So I you can start to take it to track your energy by the completion levels, by the kind of things that you love to do. For some of you, you are actually just starters. And you go, okay, well, how do I organize my business around starting? Because yeah. that actually works really well. And, and we, we got feedback from a lot of you about the fact that from an energy point of view, you're working by yourself. Yes. And lots of people need somebody to buzz off of or have accountability or share ideas with. And that's yep. what helps you complete things. Yeah. Which is why we started halfway <laughs> through the year, yep. our Connect and Create days. That's right. Because we thought that, well, hang on a minute, if we give you the space, 
yep. to actually meet other like-minded people yep. and get some feedback from us and some insight and some professional advice, yep. then that's going to encourage you to complete those projects and yep. to also get your energy on a, you know, we run them five times a year. I've just put the link in for the next yep. one in January where we've only got uh, one two, ticket, two, two tickets two, left. Well, yes, one ticket, one <laughs> ticket. So, you know, we run them on a regular basis. So if that, if, if you need that support energy-wise yep. from being around peers and professionals then come along to that and and the thing about that is 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 that we know our avatar well enough to know that you like to connect yeah. you like the connecting aspect of it so it became a no-brainer for us to actually put those in and so so back to terms so we've looked at time we've looked at how did you spend your energy what energized you what drained you and, and it's really good just to do a pros and cons list so on your on your notes just go what energized me and they might be events they might be activities they might be people that you actually put in there and then the flip side of that is what drained me what people don't i really kind of enjoy being around energy vampires exactly <laughs> what activities so it might be traveling but for some of you traveling will be on the pros side for some of you it'll be on the cons side and you know what did you want to avoid what did you go actively out of your way to not do you know sort of in that way because that can actually take you into the next little piece which is the resources because once you start to look at how did I spend my time how did I spend my energy what actually energized me what didn't now you can start to take a look at your resources so the R of terms is resources. And really for us, that's about the equipment you have, the people around you, the, the software you might use. It's all the resources that make things easier for you. So if you look at your year from that perspective, how well did you use your resources? What resources have you got in place? Did you take on staff? Did you get new gadgets? Have you got a new laptop? <laughs> And if, if it is the fact that you look at where your energy is being drained, yep. you hate invoice chasing, you hate social media scheduling, you hate diary management, then you, you're, it's a no-brainer for you to work out in 2019 yep. how you can hire a tech VA exactly. on a part-time basis. So they can take that stuff away from you. So your energy isn't being drained, but you're still getting the work done. That's it. And also for those of you who did actually kind of put some resources in, evaluate how well did that work for me? Did I did it do for me what I wanted it to do for me? Did did uh, did I free myself up to do more product creation? Yet I didn't. You know that was the intention, but I didn't do the product creation. Okay, so what got in the way? How could I use these re uh, resources much more effectively and efficiently? So there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do around the resources. So what did you bring into the business? What might you need in the business? Yeah. What resources would allow you to do more of what energizes you? So you can see how they will start to kind of roll together, yeah. right? And when you start thinking about your goals for next year, we've had some people in the Connection Hub today just talk about, oh, I want to be doing uh, show reels and I want to do creation yeah. online courses. You might think, well, actually, I need some lighting. I need a new mic. I need this yep. for next year in order to create that product or that show room. Christmas presents. <laughs> Have you done your wish list on Amazon? <laughs> but think Other about providers what... are, are, are available. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but think about what resources you need in order to hit the targets that you want next year. Agreed. And, uh, they might be people. They might be things. Um, and, and then they're just that pool of support and that's what the connection hub's there for right for you to ask yeah. who here is a tech VA who here knows what's the best lapel mic to use yeah. you know think about using us in those in those ways as well yeah and we are including people in those resources yeah. so you know that might be you making that wish list of who would I love to bring in as part of my team whether full-time, part-time, you know, actively working with me as a collaboration, as a partner, make that wish list and go big. You know, if, if, if one of those is the person who books the stage at a 20,000 people gig that you really want to speak on, then you go, put that name down. Big, hairy, right? audacious, audacious goals. goals. B-hags. <laughs> How many of you have heard of B-hags? I wrote this down and Kelly was like, what? I've heard of the name. Yeah, I know, never heard but of it's the like when you, when, when you see it like on a page, she's like, why have you written this? I'm like, big, hairy, audacious goal. She's like, oh, oh. yeah, of course. <laughs> so, you know, those, what are the resources you require for that to be the case? One of the exercises I love doing with, with when I'm doing some coaching with people is actually in order to make it a BHAG. So let's say you are setting some financial goals for yourself. I always love to make people add a naught. 
and then to go, okay, well, if you added a naught, so let's say you were hoping for 100,000 and you add a naught and you go, oh, it's a million. Okay, well, what resources might you need that allow you to do that? And most of the time you'll find it's not that different, mm -hmm. which yeah. is always really good. So moving on to money, do you see what I did there? I know, I, I thought it was a really good link. I, I know. It was, pretty, it was planned. It was, planned. It, it was totally <laughs> planned. Wow, that's intuitive uh, training for you, if ever there was. So. The money review comes down to, so time, energy, resources, money, term, right? So how much money did you make? How much money did you set out to make? Is there a gap between the two? Is there a good gap or is it a poor gap for you? Um, literally. Um, and, you know, maybe it's not so much about how much you made, but the way in which you made it. Yes. So back to that whole, was it, you know, online income, offline income? Was it stressed out income or was it actually kind of easy and flowing? Were you doing things that you loved? Were you making money in a way that you love making money? So you can really evaluate what, it. What product is exactly. your best seller? So what's the thing that actually is the easiest totally. for you to sell? You need to know, is it the digital products? Is it the live events? Yeah. Is it the lead generators? Is it the big scale retreats? What are the things that actually, you know, you can actually say and forecast for next year? Yeah. I can predict that for the last two years I've been doing this. So yeah. now I'm going to up my marketing. I can put, uh, you know, yeah. increase it by 10, 20% for next year. You know, at, at the retreat we do... Um... <laughs> We ease them in gently. And on the Sunday, we actually talk about um, uh, the financial mixing desk, which is just the most amazing tool that begins to allow you to absolutely take charge of your financials and how you actually spend your time, energy, attention um, and, and resources in this way. And part of that is actually what percentage of time are you making money in a way that actually serves you and allows you to make the contribution that you want to make? So whether that is you want to, you know, spend some time doing charity work, whether you want to contribute to charities, whether you want to set one up, you know, whatever it actually is, it allows you to understand what products you actually create that you love to deliver in the style. Because, you know, we say all the time, you are at the heart of this business. You know, it, it's you at the center. And so you get to be in charge. You get to make it up the way that you make it up. But the only way that you know is by actually reviewing and knowing. So uh, the money is quite an interesting one. And that also comes down to some people don't like to set financial goals, but actually they become simply a way for you to go, am I on track or not on track? If you stop putting the emotional context around it and simply go, here is the number that I know is possible. And I would always set the, here's what I'm going for. Here's the big, hairy, audacious one that yeah. actually goes in there. Because again, the subconscious and other than conscious mind might just go, oh, I can do that last one. I'll do that big figure. I'll take that one, thanks. And the thing that shocks me the most is that I get that some people don't want to make financial goals. Yep. But people aren't also aware of what their essential financial target is. Completely. So most people I speak to haven't done the whole budget of actually, well, how much does it cost to run your life? Yeah. Right, your household. Yeah. Your, Not your, your business. And, well, and, and including Both. Your, everything. Yeah. But then also, if you, if you know that as your bare minimum. Yeah. But then if you're saying, which Helena said in the resources section, if you want to hire a tech VA or you want to buy a new Mac or you want to get some filming equipment, yeah. you need to know how much that is so that you can add that on top of your bare minimal essentials yeah. and then reverse engineer back. Well, how many speaking gigs do I need? How many coaching clients do yeah. I need to hit all of that? So I get that you might not want to set goals that are bigger, yeah. but you need to know what your essential figure is so that at least you're surviving which we would never want you to just survive yeah, we want but you people, to thrive but people don't even know what that num number is to yeah. survive yeah okay so get clarity on that yeah completely how come my garden is so green <laughs> <laughs> focus 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 but, Brett. hello, hello. <laughs> Seriously, we must be waffling. Maybe that's what it is. Right, it's okay, numbers, back on track. Numbers, that's why. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, let's move on to skills in that case. So, in terms of skills, so on your terms, time, energy, resources, money, and now skills. So, the skills is actually more about what did you learn? How did you upgrade yourself? How did you update your knowledge? 
Um, did you do reading? Are you an audio book person? Did you go on courses? Do you have to do CPD? Yeah. What did you do that allowed you to do more within your world? And yeah. by that, I mean your life and your business. Because actually, it could well be that you learned a hobby. You, you picked up the cello because you used to play that as a child or whatever it is that actually really enthuses and and kind of demands of you a skill set and please don't discount hobbies because hobbies put the balance in that we were talking yeah. about before so this might be about you saying okay what did i you what skills did i use this year in my business outside of my business what skills would i like to update and brush up in some way in 2019 so for some of you that is definitely going to be okay you know what i want to make an online course because actually that's going to help me with the money and that's going to help me with the on your terms bit but actually huh I need to learn a whole bunch of things before that. So, you know, as a starter for 10, definitely come, go come through to... Come and join the change yeah, Exactly. We just ran our webinar on that last month on how to create online courses. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, and you know, sort of like, so, so start with what you know. Like, we've done 47 trainings this year. You know, that, that's quite a lot. And in there somewhere, there's probably some... As speakers, authors and coaches, we are very specifically aimed at helping you to build the business on your terms. Yeah. We don't necessarily teach you how to speak. We don't, to, you know, the speakers, we don't teach you how to present and speak. We don't actually teach the authors how to write. And we certainly don't teach the coaches how to coach. But we do absolutely hold a space and provide products that allow you to actually build the business yeah around that so you can make the difference you want to make out in the world and we've got all those other soapbox. trainers <laughs> in the connection hub that you can connect with yeah. to teach you how to uh, speak, do all of those things and write. yeah and, and remember these skills are also they're your personal development so yes. sometimes you might want to actually improve that skill of speaking or writing yeah but also you might need to think like one of the things that i went on a deep dive course this year was about learning how to meditate properly yeah so think about your personal life okay what's going to give you that balance what's going to give mm -hmm. you that you know that health yep. that fulfillment as well as hobbies and fun and enjoyment yeah how are you looking after you um and also your technical ability Completely. we know tech is one of the things that hold most of you back yeah so how can you like develop your tech skills yeah. learn a new thing learn a new process a new bit of software a new app so that your business can be a little bit more automated just like joe yeah. fellow said at the beginning of this live yeah she's just um implemented the implemented chat, the chat box yes yeah. right so that might be something you think i need to make my systems more streamlined how can i learn a little bit of tech yeah. and 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 it's that so you always go from the desire and you go from the desire and then you go, OK, well, what time, energy, resources, money and skills would that take? Yeah. So that's actually why we have this as a piece of IP. And one of the things that Brett might want to learn is how to make a really green garden. Right? <gasps> you know, so that's it. Brett, we expect pictures throughout the whole of 2019 of what you're actually learning. In I have no way. advice to give you whatsoever. <laughs> But that's Truly. not in the connection hub. You're no, you have to find no, Gardeners right. Anonymous or something to join. Uh, actually, the Cheap Lazy Gardener is, oh, is, yeah, is a really, her, really, yeah. really, yeah. <laughs> so that's a really, really good place to actually go for tips like that. So, you know, everything is possible. <laughs> the point here is, is that you get to not only take stock using on your terms, and I would highly recommend that you do this on a regular basis, but you also get to set the future in place by using terms. How do I want to spend my time, energy, resources, money, and skills? What do I need to do to actually brush all of that up? So, so you know, honey, this I is know, about the longest one as well. Um, the, the party's going to start I know, soon. without <laughs> us, but at this rate, we could be going. <laughs> so, so so really the invitation is here please whether you're doing this as a replay or whether you're doing it live in the comments below we'd love to know what is the what are the one or two things that you are most proud of as you review your year whether it's personal professional practical in some way what are you most proud of we'd love tell to us know. in the comments what you're most proud of we, we want to share the success we of really do because we know we've seen you guys post every friday feeling yeah you guys have just jumped leaps and bounds it's amazing and you've made so much progress yeah and that they're just the ones that are sharing rather than all the lurkers i know in the group, right? right so, so we've got we've got joe here she's app downloaded printed susanna's review printed speaker insert review excited about her <laughs> review time jack's on her way to the party Hey, so yeah, so we're going to do all of she's, this. She's going to give Beth and a run for a money for the <laughs> award, isn't she? Seriously. She might do. Yeah, she might do. Take, yeah. 
so so we're basically gonna, um, if you put there what you're proud of in the comments, whether you're watching this on the replay or you're yeah. watching this live, we'd love to hear. Yeah. And this is our last Facebook Live for this year, guys. So it's Tuesday next week is Christmas Day, and then the Tuesday afterwards is New Year's Day. So we're going to be back online with you on the 8th of January. Yes. We're still going to be in the hub, right? Yeah, we're of course. We're still going to be chatting to of you. Of course. And we'll do a live stream tonight in the Connection Hub yeah. on the Christmas party when we're going to give out some of these gifts. Yay! Um, and we'll tell, we'll tag you if you're one of the members that have won one of these prizes. Yeah, we totally will. Uh, many blessings. Have a beautiful, wonderful celebration, whatever, whatever you're, doing, you're doing, however you're doing it, however you spend the holidays. <laughs> and just thank you, thank you, thank you from both of us. Yeah, you've been awesome. You <laughs> really have and we really truly appreciate all of you for all that you contribute have a great christmas merry christmas oh. <laughs>